Good morning. I'm doing another experiment with ketone aid, which is uh, an exogenous ketone, a ketone ester that's really efficient in putting you into the state of ketosis. So ketone aid is basically uh, D-beta hydroxybutyrate 13 butane diol. Uh, and when it gets into the body, uh, you not only get uh, beta hydroxybutyrate from the beta hydroxybutyrate in the formulation, but you also get beta hydroxybutyrate from the uh, from metabolizing uh, butane diol. So you get more uh, beta hydroxybutyrate. So I previously tested with. Uh, um, 10 milliliters and 20 milliliters and both of them were efficient I guess uh, the 20 milliliters dose uh, put me into like uh, it took me from 0.8 to 1.8 uh, millimolars per liter and uh, right now I tested with uh, 30 milliliters of the ester and my baseline ketones were uh, 0.6 and I'm curious to see uh, how much is it going to uh, grow in about an hour. Okay. So it's been like an hour since I took uh, the ketone aid, 30 milliliters of this ketone ester, and uh, I'm gonna test the blood ketones one more time. So honestly, I have no prediction, so uh, let's see. These are the glucose strips, but I'm not going to check uh, blood glucose right, right now because I have like one or two more left, so I'm going to have to restock with that. And uh, these are the ketone strips. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. As you've seen, uh, 30 milliliters of ketone ester uh, took me further into ketosis than uh, 20 milliliters. So I guess that's expected. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, this proves uh, the efficiency of this uh, ketone 8 ketone ester. And that's, that's the whole point of this experiment, to actually, uh, to actually see if it puts you into ketosis. I was mild ketosis when I started, so 0.6 uh, in the morning. And uh, just for a bit of context, I'm following a carnivore diet, um, a keto carnivore diet. My ketone levels are not as high as they are on uh, a strict keto diet when my protein is moderate, but I'm also not kicked out of ketosis. I'm just um, mild to moderate ketosis uh, on, uh, on the carnivore diet. So I see lower ketone levels due to higher protein, but this doesn't kick me out of ketosis. So that, that's why I was 0.6 uh, for the baseline. And it took me to, to 2.31 one hour later. And for reference, when I tested with uh, a bottle, a full small bottle, let me see if I get it here, if I got it here. So um, when I tested with uh, this uh, small bottle, which is 60 milliliters of uh, ketone A, that actually put me into full blown deep ketosis in about an hour. So I went from, I guess, 0.8 or 0.7 to 5.3 in about an hour um, and I made a two whole videos about that uh, experiment um, on the channel so if you're interested make sure to check it out okay so yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching